the first time I can remember having body image issues is like around nine. It's when I started feeling really passionate about pursuing dance. It wasn't an intrinsic feeling, it was that someone said something to me. I remember in fourth grade, something about my legs, like my thighs being big, immediate self-consciousness about it. I carried that for so long, just about my legs being big. My name is Alexandra Wood. I'm 26 years old and I'm a dancer. When I started applying to colleges, they do ask for weight and height. I put my real weight for my first application and I didn't get that audition. The only reason I think it's because of that is because from then on, I put a different weight, the weight that I looked, and it was never a problem. Stress happens, school happens. I started to see my body change when I graduated school. Um, I did not know how to deal with that. It definitely affected me auditioning and being considered for certain companies or roles. It was very disheartening because I just was encountering a ton of rejection right out of school and I wasn't really prepared for that. It's like your whole life as a dancer, people tell you the dance world is full of rejection and this and you hear that, but it's kind of like, yeah, we know, like, but you don't really experience that until you're out in the real world. Right out of school, there was an audition I went to when I felt like I was pretty uncomfortable in my body as it was, but I wasn't totally aware of it. And I had worked with this choreographer in school and I was at least feeling like I'd be considered, just that I worked so well with this person and um, they really liked me and they uh, featured me in the piece a lot. I thought that I would at least be like considered more strongly for a position or kept for a callback or something and I just wasn't. You can work your whole life for that moment but it doesn't really prepare you for when somebody tells you no, it really hurts especially if you think that it's about your body. That was heartbreaking for me because I had worked very hard my whole life to get to this place and I was just like looked over in an instant because I like had a little bit of extra weight on my body. just like not for there to be such a rigid expectation of like what a dancer's body looks like so that someone who comes into it having a lot more struggles of like maintaining that type of body or just has an unconventional body type or frame um, can feel like they still have the same opportunities because what matters is what that person is able to extract and share and what impact that person has, what kind of power that person has with the body that they have. I want like young dancers to feel like they don't have to warp themselves or drastically hurt themselves to change into this mold that's expected of them. The love I have for expressing and sharing stories through my body and movement and representing something that people can relate to is like that means so much to me. Being able to do that as a profession is an honor. Yeah.